Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to cover how you can use your Android phone's camera to scan and create a meta human inside Unreal Engine which you can further use in your games or your movie scenes. So this is going to be very interesting and easy for a tutorial to follow so let's get begin. Before jumping into that you should must have an idea about photogrammetry. So in this thing you just have to take a multiple pictures of your reference object, real life reference object. Uh, from different angles and later on the software will convert that into a 3d object which you can use in your games or your scene and in our case for photogrammetry i am using polycam 3d so just simply download this application in your android phone and take the multiple pictures of your reference person remember the more pictures you will take the better quality you are going to get so here is the scan of my brother he is definitely going to kill me after seeing this video <laughs> so yeah that's the thing you just have to scan the complete person and then you will get the result something like this now come to your desktop and search for a polycamp and here in this website just open a workspace and log in with your same account and simply download our scan in glt format because only that one is free now come inside your blender delete everything and go under files and from here simply import our downloaded gltf scan which we just downloaded from our polycam app and here i just believe that you all are familiar with basics of blender so what we have to do here we will just simply remove all the extra vertices from our this scan only thing that we will need here is our face we will even remove the hair and the ears part you can just keep the ears if you want but in my case i don't need the ears so that's why i'm removing it and once you are all done you will find that our mesh is kind of broke and for fixing it just go inside your edit mode and select our complete mesh by pressing a and under mesh go to clean up and delete loose now select everything again by pressing A and go under mesh, clean up and click degenerate dissolve. And again press A under mesh, select clean up and then select merge by distance. And this will just simply delete our all the overlapping vertices and make our vertices of our, I mean, it will just reduce the extra vertices from our face and we will get the result something like this. And here inside my mesh, you can check that our, uh, this thing is not that much perfect because I haven't taken the pictures very well so i will recommend you to take as much possible pictures you can take so it will give a better result now simply shade it smooth and we are all set done now go under file and export it as a fbx and save this fbx file to your desired location and under path mode simply make it copy and just turn on this for getting a material so make sure to turn on selected objects and under amateur turn off this add leave one and export it now we are all set done with our blender stuffs now we have to work on with our this mesh inside our unreal engine before launching your unreal engine make sure to download this metahuman plugin this is absolutely free from epic games itself so just simply install this to your engine create and open a new project inside your unreal engine and then under edits go inside a plugin and search for a metahuman plugin which we just installed for our project and turn it on then it will ask us to restart so simply restart our project and after that just open your content browser and here create a new folder and in this folder we are actually going to add i mean keep our the skin or our face mesh whatever you say now simply drag and drop our that created fbx file and leave that setting as a default and simply press import all and import this all then here you will find we have a material a texture and our mesh so the material is not required basically but still uh, i just edit it here so that i will show you how it's looking inside unreal engine so there you can see this is how it's looking right now i mean yeah it's normal i mean it it's looking good but some of the vertices are not good because of my lag in taking the images whatever now let's go for another step come inside your content browser here right click and under meta human animator get a meta human identity name it whatever you want to make name of your meta human i am making it default for just now and then make sure to save everything otherwise if it will crash then you will lost everything so just save it once and then open your this meta human identity and then it will ask you for a login so that it can send your this mesh to the meta human creators website and once you are done with your login click on create component and then mesh and here search for our scanned face which we imported inside our unreal engine and select that and don't forget to save this file again and again otherwise if 
buffer it will crash then you will lose your all progress now change the light mode from lit to unlit and under camera make the field of view around 15 now select this body type and here you can just select desired body type in my case as my brother is kind of skinny so i'm making giving him this slim body type don't worry you can even later on change this thing i will tell you how now come to neutral pose and click that promote frames and then click on track mark so you will be basically track the mark on our mesh imagine doing that all thing manually it's literally going to take lot of time but here it only takes a single click and make sure to align this some of the arrangement uh, properly because sometimes it's too error too but it's not that much so you can easily arrange that but i am not going to do that because my pc is lagging i don't know why so that's why i'm just simply skipping this part but you make sure to do it properly and once you are done click on this meta human identity solve it will might take some time so don't worry and once you are done just simply click on this b which is parameters so that here you can see that how much perfectly our face has been tracked our mesh has been tracked so you can see how much good it is and there we are all set done so now simply click on mesh to meta human and here select auto rig identity skeletal mesh plus meta human and it will might take some of the time so just wait and then we will further go inside the meta human creator website so now it's all set done now we don't need our unreal engine anymore for this work so simply close it and come to your browser here search for metahuman.unrealengine.com and simply click on this first website and here it will ask you to select a particular version which you actually used for creating the metahuman so select that version and launch the metahuman creators and here again it will take some more time to launch this so just wait and after some time you will find this type of page in front of you actually i use the legacy version that's why our mesh is not 100 percent accurate here uh, i am stupid that i used unreal engine 5.2 you make sure to use the latest version which supports the meta human and here you will just find this uh, edit so click on that and from here you can simply edit over this complete mesh and after clicking on this enable edit just uh, do this log and edit so that if you will even messed up our actual meta human will be saved here okay so now from this place you can edit the complete meta human his eyes his appearance you can even blend different of the meta humans to create a new one so yeah there are a lot of tools you can just simply select and hover around them to do all the things you can simply select the skin color whatever you want you can do all the things you want to do from here and you can get the desired eyes of your reference just always used to have a reference and just work on with this you can even just play with the teeth you can change the color of the teeth and the gums and you can also select some of the given uh, hairstyles from there uh, well you can eventually add your own groom even though but uh, just for this thing i'm showing you the hairstyle you can use from here so that this all the hairstyle you can use and yeah that suits for him here and here if you will go on this proportion then you can see that you can eventually change the body type so you can eventually change the body type from here even though you selected anything in our unreal engine that doesn't matter so that's why i tell you to choose whatever you want you can later on change it and once you are all done then you can even check some of this facial expression which is absolutely very good so there are only some of the facial expression but later on we can also add our own so we will continue this thing in our this series and in our upcoming next part we are going to import this meta human inside our game so subscribe for updates and you can also join our discord server bye bye <laughs>